and uh, when one has reached that point of cessation of sensations, that means what other people call the ninth jhana, that very last stage where the mind has yeah. ceased, what is still happening is the body. Is there still what is called Ayu Sankara? Oh, yes. The Ayu Sankara is what I call the, uh, the living part, which is uh, simply what is necessary for the life to continue in the body. That is called the metabolism. Metabolism, yeah. yeah. But the, in, in many sutras, there is only mention of three kinds of Sankara and Ayu is, Sankara is not mentioned. This, uh, no, no, Sankara. that is because uh, the Ayu Sankara is not a part of the mental process. Ah, uh, that's the body yeah. Sankara. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So those three other Sankara, the Vachi Sankara, yeah. Chitta Sankara, yeah. and the uh, Kaya yeah. Sankara are actually the mental. The mental. Yeah. But the Kaya Sankara relates to the breathing. Yeah, the Kaya Sankara relates to breathing because that is, refers to the energy. The energy that is necessary for the men mental thing to continue. Uh, so it is the respiration and breathing that yeah. delivers the energy to the mind. That's right. So yeah. that is the Kaya Sankara part where it relates to the yeah. mind. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bhante. Okay. Sankara is another very important term uh, which uh, uh, so far. I, 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 I find uh, uh, most of the explanations uh, are not consistent with the sutta. Uh, Sankaras, uh, uh, Sankara has been variously translated. Uh, uh, formations, uh, processes, uh, mental uh, uh, activities, uh, condition, uh, conditions, uh, compound, etc., etc., However, I would uh, like to translate it as conditioners, la. conditioners or existence conditions, la, and I will explain why. Uh, one of the last books uh, translated by Venerable Nyana Moli, uh, the English monk who was uh, everybody acknowledged uh, as a very, very good translator, Venerable Nyana Moli, the monk who translated the Visuddhi Maga. Uh, he has passed away. La. But the last book he translated uh, was the Majima Nikaya. La. Previous books, uh, he translated Sankara uh, as formations, etc. La. But in his last book, uh, he translated it as determinant. Determinant is a very good translation. Uh, something that determines something else, you know. Something. Uh, and, and this uh, translation, conditioner, is the same meaning. La. Conditioner means something that conditions something else. La. Uh, that's the meaning of Sankara. La.